Joined by Leona McGuire, a stress-free 8-under 62 today. You made it look pretty simple. Take us through the round and uh, how you managed to accomplish such a great score, tournament scoring record. Yeah, I mean, I hit a, hit a lot of greens. Um, hold some nice putts. It, it's probably the best I've drove it in, in quite a while. Um, and had had a lot of control over my golf ball today, which I feel like is key on this golf course, just the way the greens are. Um, they're definitely more receptive than last year, so that, that's been nice, kind of being able to go at a few more pins. And there's a few tees moved up today, so it was kind of a case of taking advantage of that as well. You uh, played with Say Young and Lexi, both good scores there as well. Say Young got off to a hot start, obviously the winner here last year. Did you learn anything from Say Young about this course and how to attack it uh, early on? Did you take anything away from what she was doing? Yeah, I mean, she had a, pretty much a perfect start, birdie the first three holes, so I was just trying to <laughs> sort of keep up with her. Um, I mean, she's she's a great player. She, she hits a really solid, hits a lot of greens, pots really nice, and um, yeah, I mean, that's that's what you have to do to, to play well out there. You just have to hit good shots, and there's a few tuck pins, and um, just hit some nice shots, yeah. Steve? No, Leon, the proximity to the hole here is incredibly important because of the undulations in the green. How are you able to get it on the right side of the hole and to hit it close? Yeah, I think I just had, I suppose over the last two weeks, I've, I've worked on my irons a lot. I was kind of overdrawing it a little bit the, the past few weeks and, and in Korea. And, just getting that neutral ball fight back again. I play my best when I have little, little or no shape on my ball. So getting back to that, and, and that's big out here. Um, being able to hit it in those right sections of the greens, um, and even when I slightly missed the green, it, it was still a pretty simple two pot. Um, w w the last time we saw you play like this was Solheim Cup. Now, obviously, that's match play, so it's an entirely different format. But is it that same feeling with your game at this point? Yeah, I mean, I think I, like I said, trying to give myself as many chances as possible. Um, I like fast greens. These greens are really fast this week, and I, like you said, Inverness was probably the last really fast greens we played on. And um, hold some nice putts today. Was was rolling it well, and just feeling feeling more and more comfortable every week, I guess. Now our understanding is your coach is here. Is that correct? First time in how long? First time in two years. Yeah, with COVID and everything, he wasn't able to travel. Um, the last time he saw me was the second last semester event before I got my card in 2019. So it's nice to have him here. He was with me last week for a few days getting ready for this, and and then just seeing me in a golf tournament. He's he's seen snippets of me obviously on TV here and there, and, and trying to pick up what he can, doing video work. So I've been home a few times. It's it's been a challenge, but. Um, yeah, we've done the best we can, and it's nice to have him here and, and sort of picking out a few things even to help this week, but, but more so even to help in the off-season for next year. Yeah, I mean, what has he said to you that's kind of been the thing that, that may be the key for the where you are now? Yeah, um, I mean, keeping it simple. We haven't, there's been no major surgery on my swing, just um, going back to basics, really, um, making sure my alignment setup's good and um, just taking that little bit of draw out of the ball that, that was sort of crept in the last hey, few weeks. And what is his name? Shane O'Grady. Shane O'Grady. Okay. Bethann, you got any? Did, did Sol, how much did Solheim change the way you view yourself as a player, or, or did it at all? Um, I mean, obviously Solheim, it's a team event, it's a match play event, it's a little bit different. I think, I guess I was a little bit surprised by how much confidence Beanie had in me and, and the captains and, and my teammates as well. And obviously that's a confidence booster when you have the, the validation of your peers as well. Um, but also being able to hit those shots when I needed it. I felt like I hold putts um, when I really needed to at Solheim and um, hit those shots. Um, so, yeah, I mean, anytime you play with the best players in the world, you try and pick up from them, learn from them. It was nice to be in that team environment again. I'd missed that um, from Duke, and it, it almost felt like I was back in college again at Solheim, and I suppose trying to get back into that mentality a little bit. What was the party like in Ireland when you got home? Oh, I mean, it was it was incredible. Nothing like I was expecting. I mean, I went through my hometown in a convertible BMW, gold BMW <laughs> with a Leona license plate. I mean... Uh, was there a parade or what was Yeah, I mean, it was like basically like St. Patrick's Day in Ireland. I guess it, it timed nicely with the, the restrictions, the COVID restrictions lifting. And I think it was, for me, the, the best part was seeing people happy and excited again. Um, and, and it brought a smile and, and joy to so many people that, I mean, we didn't, we had minimal crowds in, in Toledo, but we knew people were following along on social media at home. and. Um, yeah, I mean, the response at home was, was phenomenal. Um, people that never normally watch golf, people that normally never watch women's golf, um, 
yeah, I mean, it was nothing like I've ever experienced before. And I suppose it was nice for my family, the fact that they, they didn't make it over to Toledo, at least they did, obviously, but that they could sort of share in it with all their friends and family at home as well. How big is your town? Not very big. There's there's one, one stoplight, I suppose, probably like, I don't know, 5,000 people, maybe. So yeah. is the whole town basically out for the Yeah, parade? I mean, I, like, like they said, they know I'm a golfer. They don't really know what it entails, but... Um, yeah, I mean, for them to, to see me compete, and I think they kind of understood, I guess, what what I do now a little bit. But it was it was nice to see them excited about about golf, and I mean, hopefully there's there's a few young girls and boys in Ireland that have, have taken up golf because of it. Very cool. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Leona. Thank you.